part of Balad to also be to arrested. Well, well, stay stay within the scope. Talk about yourself. Don't talk about others. I'm talking about the ballads plowing that created an emotional barrier between the ballad and the jail. The ballad people always blame the jail, blame the jail people for the plowing of them, but they know that it is a mass murder. In the desert, I did not mention that there was a place called Abu Jid, uh, about uh, uh, far from Leia, about seven kilometers away from Leia. One of the guards was sympathetic to us, and he said, "I'm afraid, I'm afraid that something will happen to you, like what happened to the Kurds in Abu Jid." He said that uh, people alive were were birds alive in 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 that section and during that time we were in the desert we were afraid that someday they will dig a hole and you'll see your brother or or bro father or wife to be bo buried alive in those holes those who plowed plowed the farms it was tahara yes ramadan i think at that time it was the order of of the president of Iraq who was present. He is, he is responsible for everything. How many brothers? Seven, seven were executed. Your, num your honor, after this, after we were released and I saw those farms plowed, the treatment was even harsher. After a few months, we had in the farm two, two houses that were demolished, so we lived in the house in the city. It was all robbed, all the money and the belongings were stolen. We were the responsibility of the government, and they should shoulder that responsibility. We returned to our house. We stayed about after we were released from the uh, prison. I was taken to the military on the 8th, and my brother in the 5th month uh, to the compulsory military service because you cannot go back to school. We were not allowed to go back to school. In one of the uh, vacations, I found out that my family left the house because uh, I asked and they said that the government was taking the house. So we left in a rental pro house for about two years. We stayed in a rental house. And the security forces were always well, were always after us. They were persistently after us. Every t every few times, they would every few days they will take my father for information. They would ask questions: how many were imprisoned, how many women, and so on. It was a lot of injustice. Who are you filing a complaint against? About all. Do you know all of those defendants here? Do you tell me? You honor what I saw in my eyes. Have you seen those defendants before? Do you know them before? What's your relationship to them? Yes. I have Muhammad Azawi. Mazhar, I know Mazhar. Mazhar, I don't know. Saddam, I saw him one time uh, in person. Do you have any relationship to them? I don't know. All you know them. Yes, I only know. Your Honor, Your Honor. Tell him that we'll give him time to tell him. I also, after I left the prison, I saw that our houses were stolen and I have a witness. He did not 
You did not. My brother's Muhammad Hassan Muhammad. He was executed. His name is in the case, in the indictment. Salim Hassan Muhammad. Salim Hassan Muhammad. Saad Hassan Muhammad. Hussein Hassan Muhammad. Mahsin Hassan Muhammad. Mahmoud Hassan Muhammad. Did you receive the bodies or not? During that time, Your Honor, that we were in the in the under the reign of Saddam, we did not know. No, we did not receive the bodies, and we don't know where they are buried until now. But because of the the there was a governor of the jail, and my my sister-in-law asked where my brother where my brother was. He said he said he said he executed. Also during that time, maybe after in 99 or 98, the families that that were imprisoned had to had started to file to file paperwork and ask for for a death certificate, for example. So, do you have death certificates? No, I did not get any uh, death certificate, but I have a death certificate for two, 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 no, no, oh, no, we're asking about your brothers, no. Uh, what, how old were they, your brother, your brothers? Mahmoud was 14 years. Mohsen was uh, about 17 years at the time uh, at the time of arrest Hussein was born 63 Saad about 55 was born in 1955 Salim uh, maybe 4950 he was born about 4950 Muhammad uh, he was born in 1943 they were all my brothers do you have anything else yes your honor I have a witness. He is one of the people who were part of the party. He was a guard in the party headquarters. He saw by his own, in his own, with his own eyes, what this, the tortures and everything. And I will give you the name of that witness, Your Honor. I'll give you the name of the he, he saw in person. He saw, he saw. What's his name? He doesn't want to. He may, he may want to tell you that he wants to be non public, but that's up to him. Also, Your Honor, in the jail, there were two. There were two two mosques. One is for the Sunnah, and one is for the Shia. About 50 meters away from my house, that mosque was demolished, and up till now, uh, you can you can see that it was demolished. And most most of those who used to frequent that mosque, from the from the those who were imprisoned, were executed. I also I also uh, talk about the Baathists stealing our houses and I I have witnesses who stole Umran Hassan Umran uh, by the testimony of Muhammad Azawi and I think he he can tell you that he that he stole and robbed the house this is Muhammad, Muhammad, talk to the, talk to, 
No, 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 you don't ask the defendant. Don't, don't ask anybody. No. What? Ali. Say that, Mr. Ali, Mr. Ali, Mr. Ali, don't ask the defendants. You don't have the right to ask anybody. Your talk, your talk is with the court, not with the defendants. Umran Hassan Umran, he is the partner of my brother. He robbed the house of Muhammad. I think that he. I think Muhammad Azawi would, would witness to that. No. Yes, we know about, we got the point, we, it's documented. The births in the, in the prison, the baby would be wrapped with a paper instead of a cloth or, or cloth. The death certificates, Your Honor, amongst those who were martyred, this was given, you, you presented to the, this is the f original, and the, the copy, they need the original, but you can take the copy. We will, we will uh, certify that uh, the copy is, is true. Now we watch the proceedings of uh, the resumption of the trial against Saddam Hussein and seven co-defendants. We're watching it with Mark Ellis, who's with the International Bar Association. He has a quick point that he wants to make about uh, uh, the judge and the handling of uh, this particular day of testimony. Mark, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, and I've said this before, and I said it earlier, about uh, the fact that under the rules of procedure and evidence, a defendant cannot directly uh, ask a question or speak to a witness. And